Today on Titan Sports Recap, volleyball hosts the UC Santa Barbara Gauchos in a Big West showdown. It's senior day for women's soccer as they take on UC Davis and a preview of the new park era for women's basketball. All this and more on Titan Sports Recap. Hello and welcome back to Titan Sports Recap, bringing you the best video coverage of Cal State Fullerton Athletics. We have a really great show for you tonight. I'm Tucker Tashton. And I'm Alyssa Santiago. Women's soccer was sixth in the Big West Conference entering this weekend. A win against UC Davis would push them up into third, a spot they needed to be in to qualify for the Big West Conference Tournament hosted at Titan Stadium. It was senior day at Titan Stadium and the Titans took on the Aggies in a Big West showdown. Late in the first half, still tied at zero, freshman Jasmine Mencia was shown her second yellow card of the game, sending her off the field and leaving the Titans down, a match for, the, down for the rest of the match. The Titans would battle and keep the score at zero, sending the game into overtime. In the 96th minute, it looked like all was lost and the Titans had fallen to Davis, scoring off of a cross, but the referee signals it was offsides keeping Fullerton's hopes alive. Later in the second overtime, Davis pressuring with a shot on goal that Lindsay Marisich sacrifices her body with an amazing leaping save. She would hit the post with her head and leave the game. Redshirt freshman Jennifer Stewart enters the game. With 50 seconds left in the match, the referee calls a handball in the box on Davis, giving a penalty kick for Fullerton. Davis was not happy about that. Senior Erica Mazzo steps up to the plate, though, and puts it in the back of the net for the game-winning golden goal. This puts Fullerton in third place for the Big West Conference. Very impressed, however, by our women to be able to play a man down for the amount of time that we did, and so many times throughout the course of it, not even feel like we were a man down. And I think that's a massive compliment to all of our women. This was like a really hard game for us. We were exhausted the whole last half, so hopefully it will give us momentum for the next two games. Women's volleyball action as the Titans hosted UC Santa Barbara on Saturday night in their second conference matchup of the weekend. The Gauchos entered with an 11-8 record and a 6-1 conference record, while the Titans held just a 9-10 record following their loss to Cal Poly San Luis Obispo on Friday night. After losing the first set 25-20, the Titans rallied an effort to take the second set when senior outside hitter Abby Moraldi tosses up an ace bringing the Titans within 23-21. The very next play, Moraldi serves up another gem, tipping the net, but this time the Gauchos return the ball and then some. The ball jumped back and forth between the two teams until Titans right outside hitter Elise Hensley says, I've had just about enough with the marathon point ending kill. Hensley led the Titans with 16 kills in the match. But the Titans would come up short, losing the second set 27-25 after a controversial tipped ball called by the head official that swung the momentum back towards the Gauchos. Freshman outside hitter Mallory Wagner says, Just give me a chance, coach, with this block trying to rally her team back into the game down 14 to 11. The Gauchos end up with the third set win, 25 18, and the sweet victory over the Titans. Um, it was extremely difficult because we were on the defense most of the time. Um, and when we tried to get our opportunities to swing, their defense picked up, and um, they just outplayed us tonight. I thought we should add the second set, you know. Referees aren't going to change their calls, as we know, but uh, I think he stole one from us. But I admire our team's fight and our comeback, and um, I think it's, it's definitely something that we're going to continue to move forward with. Men's soccer faced UC Riverside for the seventh conference game of the season this past Saturday. The Titans scored early in the first half with a goal by junior Spencer Johnson in the 12th minute. The Titans could not hold on to the lead heading into the second half. Freshman Tyler, Tyler Miguel of UC Riverside stole the show, show scoring both of Riverside's goals in the 46th and 85th minute. With the loss, the Titans are now 6-8-1 overall and 3-3-1 in conference play and head out to UC Riverside to play the Anteaters on Saturday, November 2nd. This past weekend, the Titans men's and women's cross-country teams participated in the Titan Invitational at the Titan Track Complex. The two teams finished 5th and 9th place respectively. Michelle Botello was the first Titan woman finishing the placing 58th overall in the 5K race with a time of 19 minutes and 42 seconds. On the men's side, Senior Brian Aylman completed the AK course in 25 minutes and 37.1 seconds, which happens to be his personal best this year, and placed him 25th overall. On Saturday, November 2nd, Cal State Fullerton travels to San Luis Obispo to compete in the Big West Championships. 
The Cal State Fullerton softball schedule is one of the best in 2014. The Titans will yet again host some of the nation's elite programs, such as number two Tennessee, number 21 UCLA, Grand Canyon University, Loyola University in Chicago, North Carolina, San Diego, Santa Clara, and all of the Big West Conference games. The Judy Garman Classic Tournament will be hosted by the Titans and include ranked teams number three Texas, number four Washington, number six Michigan, number seven Arizona State, and number eight Nebraska from March 6th through the 9th. Titans softball will also participate in other tournaments in San Diego, Palm Springs, and Long Beach. In her second season, head coach Kelly Ford said, We want Orange County fans to have the chance to see the best collegiate softball in the country, and we have been aggressive in our scheduling. There's no question that we have scheduled a tough path for us, but for the fans of this great sport, well, they can thank us for buying season tickets. Men's golf made a comeback win to claim the title at the Bill Cullum Invitational in Simi Valley. Entering the second day in third place, the Titans broke past San Diego and Arizona State to win the tournament. Senior Mark Anguiano finished tying second place overall for the last two days to end the Invitational one stroke back with a three under par. Senior Corey Gart also finished well in the tournament with a fifth place shooting six under par. This is the Titans' seventh overall tournament victory since the 2009 and 2010 season. And now the Titans traveled to Hawaii for the second consecutive year to participate in the Warrior Princeville Mackay Invitational from November 4th through the 7th. The sports season is finishing up, so starts another. With the start of a new season, so starts a new era for the Titan women's basketball as they look to get ready for the upcoming year. I heard some of the girls are dunking in practice, so it might be <laughs> well, exciting. Well, that'll make a great highlight, huh? <laughs> After falling short to Pacific last year in the Big West Conference semifinals, this year marks a new season, new era, and new attitude for the Titan women's basketball program. After Marsha Foster was not brought back to coach the team, it was decided that Darren Park would take over as the head coach for a team that features five returning starters from last year's squad, including Annie Park, Shantae Miles and Kathleen Iwua mixed in with seniors Brianna Barfield, Maya Olivier, and Alex Thomas. The new look Titans will try to improve on their 11 and 22 record from a year ago. He raises the um, our standard and it makes us feel like we have to do better for him. To we want to make him proud of us, so it's like he gives us that motivation to do that. The Titans have already played an exhibition game against Cal Baptist, winning the game 70 to 38. And while it may be good so far for the Titans, in order to be able to achieve their goals, Coach Park knows it starts by making improvements in conference play after going just five and 13. We're a different team than we were a year ago. So obviously we hope we'll have different results than they did a year ago. But to me, um, I'm a huge believer in regular season. I'm a huge believer in a regular season conference uh, uh, championship, regular season conference success. Because, you know, anybody can get lucky in a tournament. You know, you, you put a couple good games together and you can, you know, you can win a tournament. It, it, a regular season is a grind. And you're gonna, we're going to go and we're going to play 16 conference games against eight other very, very good teams. You know, I'm very, very excited to see what we can do in conference. And I want to see improvement there. For Titan Sports Recap, Andy Waller reporting. Titans baseball is in the midst of their fall ball season. And they had a tough time last weekend playing against UNLV, losing both games to the Rebels. However, the Titans were back on the field this past weekend. The team took part in a scrimmage where Fullerton's highly touted freshman pitcher Phil Bickford took to the mound to show off his first round talent. More good news for the Titans as the injury list has gotten even shorter. Coming off surgery on his right hand, infielder Matt Chapman took some feeling at shortstop, while J.D. Davis was given some reps at Chapman's former position at third base. Davis had missed a week as a precautionary reason due to hyperextending his knee a couple weeks back. And as you might expect, assistant coach Chad Baum is very excited to get two of his top hitters back in the lineup.
Here's your Titan timeline, highlighting the biggest games in the next couple weeks. Volleyball goes on a two-game road trip before coming home for a three-game homestand that they'll kick off with UC Riverside on November 9th. Women's soccer finishes out their last two regular season games away at Long Beach State Thursday, October 31st, and then at UC Irvine Sunday, November 3rd. Men's soccer only has three games left in their regular season, a game at UC Irvine November 2nd, and then they come home for senior night against the Northridge Matadors on Wednesday, November 6th at 7 p.m. And basketball season is officially here with exhibition games. Women's basketball hosts Cal State Dominguez Hills on November 1st, and men's basketball hosts Redlands on November 2nd in Titan Gym. And remember all of our social media outlets. You can catch our entire highlight library, card library on our YouTube channel. Go to youtube.com slash titansportsrecap. Follow us on Twitter. Our handle is at CSUF Sports Recap. And find us on Facebook for updates on all of our Fullerton athletics. And check us out on Instagram for behind the scenes photos. Follow us at Titan Sports Recap. Well, episode four of season six is a wrap. Join us next week for another one from all of us here at Titan Sports Recap. I'm Alyssa Santiago. And I'm Tucker Tashin. Thanks for watching.